It might not be the right call, but we've got to be on the same page and just um, go all into whatever that is. Oh, you did. Fine. Break. You guys have really shot the three well and, and shot some big numbers. Was that a focal point during uh, the, the break as well? Yeah, for sure. We spent a lot of time shooting. You know, we just look at all of our stats and, you know, the one that always sticks out is, you know, the missed wide open shots, you know, and that's um, that's one that we have, you know, we've got to hit those shots with the attention that Caitlin draws and Aaliyah Boston and Kelsey Mitchell across the board. You know, when that ball comes to Katie Lou or Lexi or Nilla Smith, they like we've, they've got to be ready to knock those shots down. And, and that's been happening for us. Hope to keep that momentum going. She was the person for me growing up. Like that's like, I remember that Lynx team better than anybody probably like as a young girl, like they were obviously this is the closest WNBA team to where I grew up. So it's kind of, who you root for, but at the same time, like they were really good, so they were easy to root for. Um, with obviously Brunson and then Lindsey Whalen, and I mean, you can go down the list of who was on their roster Sylvia Fowles, um, Simone, like all of them were just absolutely incredible. And I think the way they played basketball was easy to root for. They played the game the right way, but also all of them were really good people, too. So I think my parents, as me growing up as a young kid, like those are the type of people you want your, your young daughter to idolize, and um. Yeah, I mean, it's it's crazy now that I get to play in this building. I played in this building in college, and then now playing here as a pro, uh, it kind of comes full circle. But Maya was definitely that person for me, and she was obviously tremendous. What about her game specifically? Like, just drew you so much to her, um, mm -hmm. and her mentality, or the, any plays, or anything that really, like, made you really attach yourself to her? I think, honestly, obviously, just the offensive side, like, that's pretty simple. Um, but also, like, she was a really good defender. Like, she just had a very complete game. Obviously, I didn't take the, the defensive mindset from Maya. I don't really have that, but um, she. But I think she, like just the passion and the joy that you could always see her play with. Like she always had a smile. She was competitive. She was fiery, um, but she was just a solid basketball player. And then obviously like a solid individual. And like you didn't even know have to know her on a personal level to be able, be able to understand that. And um, I think that's like the main reasons of why like I loved her so much.